Chictopians, welcome back. Today our segment is something very close to heart, bridesmaid dresses. It's a topic at the office because Libby is getting ready. Yay, Libby! Yay. One of my closest friends, Yen, who's also a subscriber to our channel, has requested this because she's also getting ready. We brought Anna to join us. Hi. Say hello to Anna. She's actually a Bay Area wedding photographer. She was the photographer for Corinne's wedding and uh, she has uh, how many years of experience? I've been in business for six years. Uh, it's my full-time job so, and, and I enjoy every every one of those weddings so it's 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 a fun it's a fun career. That is that sounds like such a fun thing to do. So <laughs> you're basically a wedding connoisseur. Yes <laughs> and a cake. Wedding cakes too. Oh yeah. Mm, <laughs> wedding cakes. So I see a lot of brides uh, turning to uh, blogs and mm. to get some inspiration, you know, like Style Me Pretty or mm -hmm. um, Green Wedding Shoes. Oh, The Knot. Uh, the Knot, yes. Yeah. Um, absolutely. That's one of the main main places. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, there's also magazines. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but these days, I guess everything is internet mobile based and also mm -hmm. online shops as well, right? Absolutely. Like where you can buy bridesmaid dresses. Absolutely. Um, like I, I remember uh, I had a J Crew bridesmaid dress for one of my good friends' weddings. So I see a lot of uh, depends on the season mm -hmm. uh, when the wedding will happen. Um, during the summer months, uh, definitely uh, there's a bigger variety of lighter colors, lighter greens, uh, blues, peaches. Mm -hmm. um, more summer dresses type of look um, compared to uh, the winter mm -hmm. weddings um, where you know there's definitely a little bit darker colors mm -hmm. uh, with you know accents mm -hmm. but mainly made just a little bit darker than you would see in the summer okay as far as uh, choosing colors and knowing what colors go together I remember there's a color app called uh, color smart by burr that I use to kind of just see which colors went together mm -hmm. um, so I thought that was useful um, in choosing colors. So I think the priority is, the most important is um, that the dresses um, are fit to the person who wears them. Mm. And you know, you, you cannot expect that you buy one style and every of uh, your bridesmaid that a lot of times comes in different sizes and shapes, you mm -hmm. know, might look great mm -hmm. um, in the in the style. So I see a more and more, a uh, little bit more variety in mm -hmm. the wedding parties. Um, as much as they're going to stick with the color, mm -hmm. uh, I see a good mix of, of cuts and mm -hmm. silhouettes, which makes it actually very fun for photos. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more like a, a you know, kind of fashion spread, uh, the, those wedding party photos. Yeah, I remember from my, my own wedding, um, everyone wore the same cut as far as top and bottom, but they wore different shoes. And I was a bridesmaid at another friend's wedding, and there were two types of dresses that were um, both short, sort of um, fitting dresses, but it had two different types of tops for us to choose from. And that was also a lot of fun, too. Yeah, so as far as materials go, I used uh, satin actually mixed with uh, chiffon for my wedding, and it was the evening wedding. Georgette is very similar to chiffon and uh, it's ideal for outdoor daytime weddings. Uh, cotton or jersey is definitely great for outdoor or casual weddings. Um, do you have any ideas on you know what uh, type of fabric is best for what occasion? Um, I definitely I'm a big fan of satin uh, for an evening wedding especially on the dark fabric because it picks up the light um, mm. very nicely mm -hmm. so it looks great on the pictures um, also uh, the summer weddings if it's during the day and you know especially in California I think you know summers can get pretty warm so definitely um, as much breezy light mm -hmm. um, materials that uh, let the, the, the the air pretty nicely. I know my bridesmaids uh, had their own shoes, mm -hmm. and that was uh, that was really great because my bridesmaids uh, they varied a lot in terms of height. There was the tallest mm -hmm. one was uh, five ten, and the shortest one was five two. Mm -hmm. So you know the tall one wore flats, and the short one wore heels. So that was really great. But was there any sort of general rule: chunky heels versus stilettos versus flats? from a photographer's standpoint of view? Or? Um, 
it, for, on the camera, the obviously uh, the the heels, high heels helps uh, keeping you the nice posture. Mm. If it's an outdoor wedding um, on the grass, I would definitely recommend um, to, to bring uh, a heel stopper. So those little plastic things you can actually pop in the back of the heel, oh. um, which helps walking down the aisle, standing straight and, and enjoying those wedding photos while standing on the grass. And I want you so I see the the uh, amount of flexibility, a lot of it depends on who's paying for the dress. <laughs> but if you don't have as much flexibility, definitely a lot of accessories. Mm -hmm. um, you know, keep it classy. Don't try to overdo. Uh, you know, this is your best friend or you know a, a good friend mm -hmm. uh, wedding. Mm -hmm. You don't want to start trying to steal the thunder there. Staring at your bling <laughs> exactly. instead of the ring. That's sort of a sensitive topic, right? Because it's like one of those things you can't ask your best friend, like, do you want to pay for it? Sh should I should I pay for it? What's your take on that? Um, so I see a, a, a both a pretty good mix actually of uh, of that uh, factor. Um, so if if the girls end up paying for their dresses, definitely they they get a lot of more flexibility mm -hmm. in terms of um, decisions and the silhouettes. Um, because they can reuse the dresses later, yeah. which is great. Yeah. You know, the price range uh, kind of goes between 100 or $300. Mm -hmm. It depends um, on the budget. You know, these days, weddings can get expensive. Mm -hmm. So I see it. I think that's the reason why um, more and more uh, bridesmaids uh, end up paying for the dresses. Mm -hmm. um, so that's actually a really good question. Um, I have saw a few situations when um, the male of, uh, friend uh, was a part of the bridal uh, party and uh, he would wear a, a bow tie mm -hmm. in color of the bridesmaids dresses and a boutonniere, sometimes fun socks mm -hmm. that match that. Oh. Um, so definitely accessorize um, in, in the colors of the bridesmaids dresses. Uh, I see a lot of I see a lot of that. Um, the girls, uh, when they show up on their wedding day, they will have different shoes. They might be different height. Uh, but the way how I organized my wedding party photos, um, it always depends on the height of the bride. Um, and I will, you know, put the girls similar to the bride's uh, height closer to her. And you know, depends on that. We're organizing that way. But. Um, I also like to mix mix people a little bit and have them like uh, more editorial type of wedding party photos. I also remember just uh, having some safety pins and some sewing uh, threads. Absolutely. The day of, because sometimes you rip things or like things that won't end up fitting the way you want it to. Baby wipes actually also is something that I would recommend bringing a lot of times, especially with the lighter colors, lighter mm -hmm. fabric dresses, when uh, girls putting um, the dresses on, the makeup my smear. Oh, and so that works. That oh. works the best. Um, zippers, mm -hmm. what works the best for mm -hmm. zippers uh, is uh, at the bar of soap. If uh -huh. you have any problem, things get stuck, uh -huh. just kind of rub it a little bit. But that that's, usually the zippers are the most challenging because it's hard to just to quickly replace one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You mean like if the zipper gets stuck, they yeah. don't pull up? Oh. Yes. Yeah. But um, you shouldn't have eaten that croissant. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> On that note, uh, I'd love to hear your story and your tips about bridesmaid dresses. Whether you were part of a wedding, you were a bridesmaid at one point, or you're going, currently going through the process, please, please leave your tips below. And we would love, I think, our audience to share and comment on each other. And don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Flowers are all I see.